Space Shuttle, this is Flight Safety. Keep your hands on the handrail or inside the vehicle and remain seated while in motion. You are clear for launch. Have a great flight to Starport 75. Hey, Glenn. Hey, Chris. How are you? Or should I say howdy, Glenn? Howdy, Chris. Is that, um, should I do um, like location-appropriate greetings from now on? Yes, you should. Ahoy, hoy. You know, I've done that one, I think. Didn't I do that one? Uh, You have done that one. Yeah. All right. This time it's howdy, though. Howdy. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know why. It just says in the notes, speak Texas. So that's what I did. (laughs) Yeah. Well, yeah, we're going to do something a little different during this episode. Mm, We're out of this world. Right? (laughs) Um, We are shifting our attention away from Disney for this one episode and uh, talk about um, a trip that I took westward. (laughs) Westward ho. Westward ho. Like all the way west to like west coast Disneyland? No, not Disneyland. Not that far west. Okay. But uh, west from, uh, from... Disney World and west from New Orleans, uh, about five hours west to the wonderful city of Houston, Texas. Yeah, nothing against those fine folks in Houston, but so you have time to go on a trip. Yeah, but you don't come down here to see to see your buddy and it's his family. Fi- and right, it's only a five hour drive. It's only a ten hour drive to come here. Uh, longer than that? No, that's what you told me. Ten hours. You, you're like you know, no. ride like the wind. Well, if I was going by myself, maybe, but. Hmm. Oh, you're saying your family posse. your family slows you down? Yeah. Why? You, they walking behind the car? Like, why, why Why? would it be slower? <laughs> There's stops. <laughs> There's all kinds of stuff. There's the, all the sightseeing and, yeah. the, and the Whataburgers. The Whataburger. Exactly. Thank you. Mm-hmm. I like Whataburgers. Yeah. They're good stuff. They're good. Maybe the only thing I miss from being in Texas, actually. But. Yeah. All right. So anyway, so back on track. So you went to, you were going to where? To Houston? Houston. Yeah. Yeah. We're just going to, uh, so we spent a couple days in Houston, literally just a couple of days. We drove up on a, on a Thursday, got there Thursday evening. Um, we're there all day Friday and then we drove back, uh, Friday morning. So, mm-hmm. uh, two nights and we stayed da- in downtown Houston. So, mm-hmm. so before, before I get into it, um, no, so, actually, before but even before yeah, you yeah. do that, I'm thinking about the timing here because I'm like, yeah. I'm like, it's only five hours for you to get to Houston, yeah. and like it's like five hours to get to like you know Texas, uh-huh. but then like the next closest city will probably be San Antonio. <laughs> That's another four hours. Oh my like, god, yeah, absolutely, <laughs> so, yeah. Like Texas it's is amazing so how, immense, how and how it's big that state is. As soon as you get in, uh, you know the the exits are by you know how many miles right mm-hmm. and and, yep. it, and so going west it's the highest number down to the lowest it's a countdown okay and um and so like the first exit is like exit 899 <laughs> <laughs> i'm like whoa yeah where am i and i thought i'd lose it because you know it's uh my my exit right here is uh 229 so it's you know mm. 229 miles to the west border Mm-hmm. And I thought that was a long trip, but, wow. uh, but yeah, so, um, so, so yeah, it's, it's Texas is immense, man. Yeah, I don't know is. if you know that or not. Oh, I've spent a few days there. Did I you? don't know. Really? Yeah. Well, I lived there. I, what? Did, I, did I ever tell you that? Did yeah. you? Yeah. Third grade, third grade, moved there from California. Oh, still breaks my heart. But, uh, yeah, third grade through college. And then I then basically got out as soon as I could. <laughs> 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 Sorry, Texas. You just you just weren't my cup of tea, yeah. as they say, or my <laughs> my you weren't my can of Lone Star. So, <laughs> so we were we were looking for. So we'll we'll I'll kick it off, and this is a, a it's a Glen trip report. I'm gonna see if I can. Is this do, the first one? Do this a little jingle. One? No, it's not the first, but no, all right, definitely not enough. I don't do enough to warrant a jingle, but okay. um, <laughs> so I I need to see if I can do that. Cue the bumper. And now, a trip report from Glenn on Glenn Houston Adventures. So, all right. So, yeah. So, we're trying to lay low this year a little bit. Um, I'm traveling a lot for work, and and uh, we're going on the the Disney uh, cruise in February. Oh, so, man. this year's kind of a, you know, it's, a, it's just a year we're trying to... 
So you're letting the money tree grow a little yeah, bit. Yeah, a little bit. Is that yeah. what I'm exactly. Thank you. Mm-hmm. So, um, but but we needed, you know, in order to keep us from going stir crazy, <laughs> wanted to do a, at least a little something. And so mm-hmm. um, I've been wanting to go to Houston for, for a long time. And uh, I've... Um, uh, the last few years I've thought about it and, and we just haven't done it cause we've done bigger things. And, and so this seemed like a perfect time. Um, but one of the main reasons driving this is, um, uh, it, it, this year is the 50th anniversary of the first moon landing and, mm-hmm. uh, leading up to this, uh, uh, Johnson space center, uh, decided to, uh, restore fully restore uh, mission control the Apollo mission control um, to its state as of d- during the Apollo program because technically uh, it's restored as of I think Apollo s- sixteen um, okay. because it was the most one of the most either sixteen or seventeen um, because it was one of the most, you know, as they got, went to the moon more often, it got more complicated, you know. Okay. So it was the most complex layout of the. Exactly. So they wanted to show, show that. Um, so anyway, so on Kickstarter, I saw, uh, a couple years ago, Hey, you know, they were like, Hey, uh, contribute, uh, to our, uh, to help us because it's, it's not, um, uh, it's not, you know, it's not a for-profit, uh, organization so like they need they you know they solicit help from the public and try to raise funds and everything else so so i, I kicked in a few bucks um to Wait, help can i ask you yeah, can yeah. i ask you about that because because yeah. uh, confused about something mm-hmm. so we're saying that this nation uh, went and landed on the moon they yeah. had this mission control they ran yes. you know whatever six seven missions through apollo then you had soyuz and then you know uh skylab and whatever uh, i think using that same mission control and what did they do just scrap everything like what like wouldn't like if i worked there i'd be like hey guys we should probably just like seal off the doors and because this <laughs> is a this is a historic site now did they did they just like eh whatever Put it on eBay. Like, I mean, no. Well, yeah. So they uh, they use it from uh, from Gemini through mm-hmm. the space shuttle. Um, so they they used it through the first. Uh, it looks like the first twenty uh, shuttle oh, launches. Okay. All right. Okay. And then they built. They moved it, and they they had another. Uh, they have a newer mission control. Yeah. Nice. Nicer digs. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's carpeted and such. But from the end of that space shuttle era mm-hmm. to just a couple of years ago, they, they didn't, they just left it as it was, you know, during the Did space, you know, they it? didn't Did go back and, and restore anything. And so, okay. and it um, had moved on, I guess, cause it was, it was being used. So then it was, it became the shuttle mission control. So it right. was no longer the Apollo layout and stuff. Correct. And so, oh, okay. So they, um, they, they did. They just kind of shut the doors and were like, okay. And they didn't have tours or anything, hmm. except for like VIPs or you know for special people that would come through. And they would just let them in Mission Control, and they could do like people would sit down, and touch whatever they would. like. There was no regulations on what what people could or couldn't do in there. And so, hmm. so if you wanted a souvenir, you just like rip off an arm of yeah, the chair I mean, and take that with you, kind of thing. Yeah, like they didn't they didn't regulate it at all. So, hmm. so they yeah a couple of years ago they decided okay look we got to do this right. The 50th is coming up. Hmm. Let's really restore it. Let's let's um, you know uh, let's make it an attraction and yeah. and so that we can show people what it was like, what it looked like, and everything else. Okay. So, so this was your motivation. You, uh, that was, uh, yes. Yeah. Um, okay. so I knew that was coming up. It, it opened, I believe June, like the end of June, June 26th or something. It, they had the grand, uh, reopening. Hmm. And so I wanted to go after that. Um, and I also wanted to go, um, when the Astros were in town and before school started and everything else. So I, I started narrowing down the window of when to go and it, turned out that one of the best weeks that I could find was actually the week of um, the anniversary. Oh, that's uh, good timing. Yeah. So, so we did that. Um, So we were there 
so we, we drove in, like I said, on a Thursday, got there, uh, got to the hotel. We stayed in downtown Houston. Mm-hmm. Um, at an aloft. At an aloft, yes. Yeah, I like those. Those are yeah, nice. Yeah, so mm-hmm. it was a nice hip little hotel. Yeah. But, you know. Did they have the little, uh, like, modern kind of... And not cafeteria, but like food vending thing. Yeah, they yeah, did. At, at the one you stayed at. Yeah, yeah. it's kind of nice. I like that. I like that brand. Yeah. Okay. All so, right. So you stayed, you stayed right downtown. It's nice downtown. Yeah. I've been there for a convention. Was it last year? I think it was in Houston for a for a convention in, uh, in June. And it's a nice little area downtown. Lots of mm-hmm. hotels and, and yeah. things. Things to do. The only problem is that every, because it's a downtown and, a, you know, a lot of office buildings and mm-hmm. uh, every, all, a lot of the restaurants close at four o'clock, and oh. <laughs> they offer breakfast and lunch, and then close oh, up. I see, I see. No, so no, we no, ended no. up eating at Shake Shack, which was cool because <laughs> we just had Shake okay. Shacks open up here, and mm. it was at, we ate there uh, in Houston at Shake Shack the day before the one here in New Orleans opened. <laughs> so oh, wow, <laughs> but it, it it was good. We got the flavor of it. Uh, there's lines down the block at the one here still, so. It'll be it, a while before we go to this one. It's good. I, I've only had it at an airport. I don't remember which yeah. airport I was in, but they had it. I'm like, oh, I've heard about the Shake Shack. It was good. I yeah. don't know if I'd be like, you know, I got to wait in a long line for it. No, but, it, exactly. It's good. Yeah. You know. Yeah. yeah, part of me, I wish, I wish, uh, how do I, what am I trying to say? I'd, I'd, I'd like to, we had more stuff here, but then, you know, part of me, like, remember the olden days, because we're olden guys, there would be a lot more differentiation in regions. Like, because mm-hmm. I remember, yeah. I, you know, I'd live in, San Antonio, and I'd visit, you know, family in New Jersey, and they'd be like, you know, like Schlotzky's, what's a Schlotzky? Like, nobody ever heard of it. Like, Fuddruckers, they didn't mm-hmm. have up there. But, you know, over time, everybody kind of gets everything, and it kind of yeah. kind of dilutes it. But Yeah, it does. Yeah, whatever. Okay, so you had you had your burger, and then, yeah. uh, cool. So, so then we just went back to the hotel, and because and, we were going to uh, get an early start the next day, uh, the plan was to go to Johnson Space Center, in the morning, and then we're going to an Astros game that night. So, so, so can I ask you questions about Johnson Space Center, like the, the prep sure. stuff? Because yeah. and it kind of kind of falls in line with stuff we talked about before. Because it's kind of a kind of a, I mean, it's a working place, but yeah. it's a bit of an attraction. So we'll we'll look at it through that lens. So, and we have this thing called Kennedy Space Center here. I don't know if you've ever heard of that. Um, but yeah. it's similar. They have like rockets and things like that. Mm, and, similar, str- a strong word, but go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> and we'll get into uh, that. NASA has offices in both places, so yes. it's practically the same thing. Uh, <laughs> okay. But what's interesting is like Kennedy Space Center gets all the uh, kind of mind share. Yes. Um, because, you know, I, I guess because uh, because it's where the rockets launch. But but if you if you did like a timeline of all space missions, like the part that Kennedy's responsible for is like the first you know two percent <laughs> sliver, you know, and and I immediately know. once it's in the air, it moves over to to uh, to Houston. So yeah. uh, in terms of you know time spent managing things, you know, Houston uh, Johnson Space Center is a lot more um, uh, whatever. It's logged more time uh, sure. for the missions. Um. So I'm I'm quite jealous that you went there, but so like Kennedy Space Center is, uh, I mean it's almost two parts, right? There's the Kennedy Space Center mm-hmm. attraction, which is actually run by an attractions company, right? Yeah. And then there's the the actual launch complex, which is you know run by by NASA and stuff, and it's in a mm-hmm. nature preserve, right? All those things we know. So what's the deal with with Johnson Space Center? Is it a similar thing or like? Like, uh, like before you went, what what yeah. were you prepared? Did you have to buy tickets ahead of time? Do you have to like? Um, yeah. How does that work? So I looked at all that. So, yeah, I was going because I'm a planner. I think everybody knows that. Um, so spread, spreadsheets were involved. Okay. <laughs> Almost. So I did the – so I went to buy tickets for everything, for the Astros game, for, our, you know, booked our room. And our, and so I started looking at the, the website, and I realized that what it would cost for the four of us in tickets, we could actually just become a member of – It's almost uh, like a planet that way. I know, right? And you get like free parking, you get discounts off merchandise and all that. So, so I'm like, okay, well, we'll, we'll it'll be a wash. And so, uh, so before, uh, about a month or so before, um, we went, I went ahead and joined. Um, and so I got my little membership cards and everything. So I was all ready. And, um, so I did not know what to expect. Uh, the, the website, you know, I kept looking to see what attractions they had and 
what they offered and it's just it's very generic it's not it's definitely not like you don't there's not as much information about it as there is for Kennedy and through mm-hmm. all of this I'm going to compare I have been to Kennedy um and just a couple of years ago and, and many times before that and so I I kept throughout the day I kept comparing everything to my experiences at Kennedy sure and so a lot of this is um if I hadn't been there it might have been different, but uh, but doing that comparison is like, oh my goodness, uh, Johnson is really um, different. <laughs> uh, <laughs> different in in what kind of way? That doesn't sound like a positive. <laughs> so we'll we'll go through it in, in right, the right. day and um and and I'm looking at the site. It looks yeah. like because uh, there's a Johnson Space Center, which is like the official NASA kind of site. Yeah. But then there's a SpaceCenter.org, Space which Center looks like org, the yeah. like the uh, like the theme parky uh, part. Correct. Of it. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. So, okay. So, um, but it didn't matter. I was gonna go. Yeah. Of um, course. Of course. And, and so, all right. So we the first thing is. The on the website, um, it it normally opens at ten o'clock, uh, ten to five are the normal hours, but that I don't know if it was special for that week or I found somewhere else that it looked like during the summer it it actually opened at nine a.m. But that day that we were going, it opened at nine a.m. and I had just seen it the night before, so I'm like, oh guys, we we had to get up an hour earlier than we were expecting to get mm-hmm. there. Um, it, yeah, I'm looking at the calendar now. By the way, I just fill in uh, yeah. while you chat. So, yeah, so 10 to 5 is like the normal time, but yeah. then they, quote, have a seasonal calendar, which is basically summertime. Yeah. From uh, from 9 a.m. Uh, to what well, was extra long the week you were there because of the 50th, mm-hmm. I guess. And right. actually on the on the 20th, which was the uh, uh, the actual anniversary mm-hmm. and, and one of my son's birthdays, by the way, um, it was open till midnight. Isn't that crazy? It was because they had uh, they had major concerts there, and um, oh, wow. uh, so they and they were you know they had but everything set go, up. But you didn't go that day. I did not. I wanted to make so sure it, I was nowhere near. It's that like place you were then. at Woodstock, but the day before it opened. Is, that, <laughs> exactly. is it kind of like well, that? yes, that's true. Because uh, <laughs> okay. they were anticipating uh, twenty thousand people to be there. I'm oh like, God. yeah, I'm, I don't really need to be here for that. Yeah, there, what five thousand on the on the day before? Anyway, all right. So, uh, all right. So you went there early. So, you so we went there the early, se- the and so calendar. we got there at uh, eight thirty, and oh, in the morning, uh, in the morning, got. Oh my God. I went up to the ticket booth. Uh, said, hey, you know, I'm a member, but I don't. My first time here. Um, I, you know, I want to, do I have to do, and they're like, oh, that line is just, we're going to open the doors in a minute. Uh, that line's for, you know, a uh, bag check. Um, uh, but just come on in. She's like, but do you want to do the, the, the tour of historic mission control? Well, yeah. And I said, yes, that's, as that's, that's why I'm here. Mabel. <laughs> right. And she's like, okay, well, <clears throat> you do need to reserve a time for that. What time would you like? And I said, oh, well, well you know, and I said, okay, 1030. And so. Um, so she gave me a little receipt and, uh, for four people. And so I got back in line, went through bag check, got in there. Uh, you know, it was, it was actually a little bit before nine o'clock we're in there. And so we started walking around. Um, so it's really, (laughs) it's really just one big ish building, um, is where they have most of the, um, uh, tourist, you know, the, the, attractions and the the old spacecraft they have um the command module from apollo 17 there Hmm. they have um uh you know a couple they have some replicas they have uh some spacesuits there but in general there's not a lot there it's (laughs) it's a big it's a big room and and so I went around taking them a lot of pictures, and I'm like, wow, there's not a lot of people here. This, you know, it's kind of cool, but okay, uh, tomorrow's a big day. Okay, it's not going to be that big of a deal. So, so for so at the nine, at nine oh five, you were done. <laughs> well, <laughs> kind of a little bit, yeah. <laughs> um, but but we hadn't gone and seen the uh, Apollo 17 command module yet, mm-hmm. and so I was saving that and and now that I know what happened the rest of the day that was stupid because i should have gone right then and taken pictures and everything else while it was empty oh i see okay so 
uh, you to go on the tram, you had to be there 15 minutes before your time. So we picked 1030. So we got went uh, got in line for the tram uh, at 1015. Yeah. <laughs> and and so there's there were three lines and there's nobody there to to help or guide or whatever. And so one of them, one of the lines said uh, priority boarding for members. And I'm like, okay, so that's the one we're a member. I want to go on that one. Want to skip the line, whatever. So we go and we get in that line, and we, yeah, I'm, I have my receipt out, my tickets out, and everything. And the, you know, they're like, oh, this line, you know, that's fine. Hey, sure. So, but before he goes, I'm looking yeah. at the ticket prices. It's really reasonably priced. Oh, it is. It it's is. like a family family memberships, 130 bucks. Yep. Is that, what you, is that what you spent? Yeah, that's what I spent. Oh my gosh, that's that's like what a <laughs> with three cokes at Kennedy Space Center costs. So. <laughs> right. Well. Okay. Yeah. All right. All right. So you get you get doing the tram. So we go. We get in line for the tram. We get our seats. Um, and the tram takes off, and we it takes us to, um, their, uh, quote unquote, rocket park park. And they have a couple <laughs> replicas. Air quotes. <laughs> <laughs> they have a couple replicas of oh, the so sad. Uh, Gemini and uh, uh, Mercury uh, rockets. They're not real, but you know. And then, but there's. Do, do they tell you that? They're like, these aren't. Yes, real, they but, do. You know, do they? Yeah, like I'm like at least lie, like say that you know, or, or leave it, leave it ambiguous. Yeah, yeah like, but oh. no, they actually make a point to say, yeah, these are anyway. So then. There's this huge building, and on the outside it's painted and says, you know, Saturn V or whatever it says. And you go in, and it's like this, it's literally like a barn. And they have a Saturn V rocket there on its side. And it's like, oh, okay. You just walk in like a door. You open the door. And it's like, okay, it's right there. It's like, oh, okay. And, it, and it's literally from uh, the pictures I saw, it's literally like a corrugated uh, yeah. metal kind of shed, right? Yeah. The lighting's awful in it. Like there's a couple but, but signs. That's actually, that's actually a step up. I don't know when they did it. Maybe it was, uh, you would know because you saw how new it was or maybe they said, but it was... I know uh, 10 years or so ago, mm -hmm. they had that rock because there was a, uh, it was, uh, whatever. I mean, Kennedy Space Center built a beautiful Saturn V center. I knew you know. Well, but, uh, yeah, yeah. Okay, I don't want to, but but anyway, that that um, that Saturn V rocket you saw, it used to just be sitting like out in the sun. Like it mm -hmm. just, you know, it's just like, I don't know, put it over there. And then <laughs> right. just, that's where it was. So at least they built it's something insane. around it. Yeah. Okay. So we go in. So I'm like, okay, well, where do I go to like get on? And so we get off the tram and we go in there and I'm like, all right. And then you, you exit and then there's another waiting area. And I'm like, okay, well, I want to go to the mission control. And they're like, okay, right here in this line. And I'm looking at the signs and they're like, and it, you know, it's like, it's, you know, um, like new mission control. I'm like, oh, no, 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 the historic, the Apollo mission. And they're like, oh, you have to go back. That's a different oh, wow. tram. I'm like, wait, what? Like, I had missed my time. Like, it was done. Oh. And so it took forever to get back, to get on a tram, to get back to the main building. And um, I go up to guest services. And I'm like, hey, you know, I just I got in the wrong line and, and my time's passed. And they're like, oh, well, we don't have any more times until this afternoon. And I'm like, well, okay, could you give me some resume? Because <laughs> this is the whole reason I came here, you know. <laughs> Right. So we we so got. Were you, were you were you freaking out at this point? You're like, oh, I was so of like, I was so oh, upset. I'm gonna I'm gonna have to head home, and the one thing I came here for, exactly. and I, I paid for this entire restoration to be done. And now I, was, I don't see it. I was not not happy, and so yeah. so I've seen that face. I know. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm. And um and so she was like, oh well, we have uh we have four spots at uh one or one thirty something like that. I'm like, oh okay, <laughs> give me the tickets because that that's that'll work. Yeah, like, <laughs> Whatever. Is this the tram let's just get this clear is so, this well, the one i need to be on so i'm like all right well we can eat lunch here and you know and and we can look around this building some more <laughs> well chris by the time i got back um yeah. so this was like maybe quarter to 11 mm -hmm. the place was packed oh really because so everybody that, thought that, yeah, it yeah, opened yeah. at 10 and got there okay. at 10 and it was packed. i'm like oh my god i can't even take you know, I, I can, you know, my picture taking is going to be affected by this and I'm not happy. Were you like running around saying, but people, I'm, I'm a member. I, <laughs> right. I'm a member. 
So, so we just walked around. The kids played. They have they have a few little um, games, you know, computer yeah, so. games and stuff. So yeah. they played that, and I, I walked around, took some pictures, looked at the space suits and stuff. Um, went in the gift shop, and then we ate lunch, and then we we uh, got on the right. So, so yeah. So when it was time, <laughs> I they have they have three lines, and I actually took a picture of it to to see. Okay, what did I miss <laughs> the first time around? And so, yes, they do have a separate line for the uh, Apollo um, tour. Mm -hmm. And um, but still, there's nobody there like telling you if you're in the right line or wrong line because were the were the signs not in English, Glenn? What (laughs) they were. But um, but we were with other people on that first tram ride who were in a similar situation. Like it wasn't just us. You know, there Hmm. there's a lot of confusion there. And Hmm. so. So this is I'll break here and say, you know, and I I mentioned this to you when I got back. It's it's kind of like, you know, it's like they're well-intentioned people at Johnson who are like opening their doors and saying, hey, come on in. It's nice. Whereas Kennedy is a it's a theme park, right? It's it's they're definitely on a different different level as far as accommodating visitors. Yeah, we got to We got to. I mean, I think you said it before, though, too, because even if you read the sites, I mean, Mm -hmm. the attraction part of Kennedy Space Center is a business. It is a for profit enterprise. Right. 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 Johnson, the Johnson Space Center one, it's it's basically like a low income museum. I mean, I'm sure it is, you know, they're doing the best what they got, but they're they're meaning that their forte isn't you know what they're trying to do there. So, right. I mean, I but guess it's kind of understandable, right? The, the, true. But in every single Houston ad or, yeah. you know, if you go to Houston's website or whatever, their main focus is that they have the Johnson space center and, well, and yeah. for Especially people to this go year. visit the Johnson space center. Well, yeah. And yeah, so, so it's like, so hopefully well, they'll, they'll get the money. Right. So yeah. from this year and then the, hopefully they reinvest it and you know, I hope so. It grows up a little bit. So, okay. So then we go. So we get on the right tram finally, and we uh, head over to historic Mission Control. All right. So it finally on this tram ride, it finally dawned on me like where we were and what we were doing because it's they built that one big building for like the tourists, you know, right? Sure. But you are going on to nasa's like (laughs) office complex right i mean this is it and like you they take you to the actual like buildings and there are cars parked everywhere there are people working like it's a it's a real place and that's when it's like oh okay you know kennedy they don't really you know they take it near the uh vab and and you know to the launch pads and stuff, but they're they're not really taking you to the main office complex, and you know, but in Houston, they I mean, you really are going through historic places. I mean, you know, well, especially to get to the, the Mission Control because it's in the yeah. middle of it. I mean, it's, it is you know. right smack in the middle of it. Right. So okay, so we pull up and we get out, and it, you're going to an office building, and you, you walk in. There's a um, uh, a stone, um, a little stone structure with a plaque in it, uh, showing that it, you know, saying that it's, uh, it's on the, you know, national historic, um, register and everything else. Um, and then you go in and you go into the building and before you do it, you so say you walk right in and then they stop you <laughs> and they're like, all right, here's the deal guys you can't take anything in for as far as food drinks. It doesn't matter. Water with a cap doesn't matter. You can't take anything, anything like that. in. you can take cameras in, you can take your bags in, but nothing. It's like like when you're growing up at home and your parents are like, no, we just bought these new couches. (laughs) Right. There's no Cheetos on the couch, you know, until like a couple years later. Then it's like, all right, then eat your lunch, you know, (laughs) right. It's like that. Pretty much. Pretty much. So, and then they go, okay. Um, uh, we're going to go in. It's 87 steps up. Uh, so we're going to go through the stairwell and you have to walk up 87 steps. Anybody that, who can't. That really surprises me that. Um, I mean, I'm at 87 steps. Like how many, how many floors was that? Uh, a bunch. 
<laughs> I mean, it's it's probably five floors. Okay, the building didn't seem that tall, but all right. Yeah. And there's no elevator? Like that doesn't seem there is an, a, so a, there is an ADA elevator. Compliant. There okay. is an elevator and and they say if you can't do it then, you know, physically then stay behind and talk to us and we'll figure something out. They're just going to put you in the elevator and bring you up. They just don't want to bring everybody in the elevator. I'd be like, you know, I can do it, but uh, I'd rather do the elevator. <laughs> right. <laughs> So, okay, so then, uh, so you walk up, you go in, and, and like, they're just, there it is. So, you go into the uh, the visitor's section overlooking Mission Control. So, mm-hmm. if you've watched any movie or, you know, mm-hmm. the, the Apollo 13 is the, you know, the most famous Every, one. Everybody knows that one, yep. It, it, it's in the movie, too. It's where... Um, it's where all the mucky mucks would sit. Yeah, exactly. And so that's you. You there? You they? You go through the door, and it's like there it is. <laughs> like there's no lead up to it or anything like that. It's like well, here we go. So you sit down, and uh, they go through a spiel, and they say, "Okay, you cannot touch. You can sit in the seats, but that is it." And they the, the seats the seats of the observation room, not not the actual oh the observation room. Yeah, nobody yeah, can yeah, go okay. into actual mission control. Well, but somebody somebody can. Well, I'm sure they can. So, did, did you tell them you're a member? Did, they, they didn't let you. <laughs> but they even have the the old ashtrays on the back of the seats, <laughs> and they're bizarre. like, "Dude, you cannot touch them. You can't touch this wooden, um, you know, railing. You can can't you smoke in there. <laughs> you can't now. But um, but those were the original <laughs> seats and seat fabric. They uh-huh. only changed the um the padding inside. Like mm. everything is original, and so. Yeah. So you sit down and then they um they show a video and they're like, Okay, this we're gonna play for you the last minute of the moon landing. Um and so they play and, and exactly what we saw uh in mission control and you know, we're gonna show you everything. And so they play that and it's it's cool, but there's no video, right? So you're just watching these screens with, you know, numbers and everything. Like it's mm-hmm. not intuitive for a layperson to understand what's going on. Right. Then, you know, okay, so that's cool. So, the, but you hear the audio, right? And, and, uh, you're hearing everything. So it's, it's, it's cool. And, um, in fact, the guy next to me w- started applauding. It was like, whoa, yeah, you know, we <laughs> landed in America. <laughs> and, uh, hey, spoilers. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Um, <laughs> but during that section, I was watching it and I, I see all the screens up and I, I, Pick my camera up and put it to my eye, my eye, <laughs> and the guy behind was like, "No photos." I'm like, "Ooh, like I didn't hear that warning, or I I wasn't listening, or whatever." Why? Why, why would that be though? I don't understand. <laughs> uh, well, so it'll make the, even less sense when this, I finish this is my all, story. Uh, remember, all of this is owned by the public. The, right, like, right, right. But, there's oh. no, there's no. It's not like a Disney where it's all like oh, I know, uh, you I know. know proprietary. It, it gets sillier as, as I tell okay. the story. Oh, good. I can't wait. So I put my camera down. Uh, okay. And some other, actually the guy who applauded, he came in after that and with a Sir, group no of applauding. And he he took his phone and put it up like he was going to take a picture. <laughs> and the same guy yelled at him too. And, I'm, and he was like, ooh. Like, and, and so I'm like, well, that's weird. But okay, that's fine. Uh, maybe they thought I was going to use a flash. I, I don't know. But okay. um, so then they show a video. <laughs> maybe of, it's like we don't want people to know about this. Don't take any pictures. <laughs> right. So so then they show a video of uh, the first steps on the moon, and you do get some video with that. And then mm-hmm. and then they show um, show them uh, landing back on Earth. Right. So they go through three different. Um, you know, scenarios and, and it's cool. And then, so that's over. And then they're like, okay, um, we're going to give you time to take pictures and walk around and do whatever. Just don't touch anything. And <laughs> so, could, so I'm like, take pictures well, after and, the- and then they put up like what they put up for the first run. <laughs> and, and I'm like, well, wait a second. That's what I was going to take a pic. Like, I don't understand why I couldn't take a picture, sir. Space rules. <laughs> yeah. So so anyway, so we, we did. We had like, I don't know, five or ten minutes to everybody just, you're just yeah. literally standing in there taking pictures. Everybody's just taking pictures of each other and and of the, <laughs> the control room. And it's like, it was, it was very cool. Smoking cigars. 
So and it didn't look that crowded. Do they take enough people like uh, based on the number of seats? Is it like you know? No, it's the very size? it's very limited. They take about um, maybe twenty twenty five people per trip. Absolutely, uh, every surely, half surely, an hour, I think. Surely they'd have to. I mean, you know, after the anniversary is done, I'm sure they'd fall off. But I mean, you can't imagine they must have had thousands and thousands of people who wanted to see this. You would think, but you you have to you yeah, have, you have to, to get have the, the spots, ticket, yeah. and you know I, I'm assuming a lot of people don't know that they have to do that. Yeah, okay, boy, that would be that would be kind of pissed off. Huh? I know, I know. So yeah. anyway, so it was very cool to be there. Um, uh, I mean, it looks just like it looks in the movies and everywhere else. Um, was Gene Krantz there? Because uh, he's always, he seems to always be there. When I see well, pictures. he was he was uh, in the video. Okay. <laughs> he was introducing the videos. Uh-huh. Um. And it was we it was kind of weird because the the building is the uh, Christopher Kraft yep. um, Mission Control Center, and yep. they're like you know Christopher. They explain who he was and all, and he, <laughs> I'm not laughing, but he passed away. I think the Monday after yeah. the 50th anniversary, like yeah. he. He was alive when we were there, and yeah. then he, he he passed away. Uh, he he was ninety one, I think. I mean, yeah. but uh, anyway, and most people don't know the name, but he he was uh, he was the guy that kind yeah. of worked out earlier in the in the Gemini uh, Mercury programs. I think Mercury. Mm-hmm. What what it meant to be mission control, like how that all operate. You know, we all kind of take it for granted now, myself included, even though you know I know a fair amount of this stuff, and it seems like obvious. Like oh, you got you, know, you got your ecom, you got your you know your medical, and they all report in, and but mm-hmm. they they had to figure out like what how should mission control run? Yeah, and he's the guy that kind of devised all that. So yeah, we were listening to uh, a man on the moon uh, mm-hmm. going up um, and coming back driving, and um, and yeah, he was <laughs> he was in that a lot, you know, and. Yeah. And it's like, oh wow, that's cool. We just, you know, and so which, anyway. Which, which side note, and I think I've mentioned it before mm-hmm. on a few shows, but that book is an amazing book for anybody that wants to know. Yes, it is about about the the space program because it, it's like it covers a lot of ground, but it's it's really it's a page turner. Like you wouldn't think it would be, and it could be it could be really you know a book like that might be dull uh, to some, but it's a it's a really good read. Yeah. So. Okay. So. Um, so yeah, so then we took yeah you know, took some more pictures, went downstairs, took the tram back, and that was it. Uh, you know, so what kind of? I'm curious, what kind of tram is it? Because uh, <laughs> there there are two there are two levels of tramness that that I'm familiar okay. with. All right, one level is Disney, uh-huh. right? And now we got our new tractors with their you know monorail mm-hmm. colors and such. The other end of the spectrum is uh, the Daytona International Speedway, where they're literally, you know, Ford F one fifties with like these uh, these uh, welded together seats uh, that they drag around. So, right. in the spectrum of trams, what do they have there? Okay, so it's very close. It's much closer to the Disney okay. uh, parking lot trams from, but from nineteen seventy five. <laughs> like okay. these might be fifty years old for all I know. Wow. I mean, okay. they are. Uh, they could be celebrating their, the same. Uh, anniversary as the uh they're pretty old landing. they're pretty Premier old landing. but but they, but yeah they're just they're uh trams more like that okay all right no good. pickup trucks no it's a shame because yeah. it makes it real feel down home <laughs> so then we went back to the they took us back to the main building and then we finished up and that's when i we took our time to go see the um uh command module um and mm. the they have a mock-up of a space shuttle um, they call it the independence, uh, but it's on top of one of the seven forty seven. I believe so. Mm-hmm. Um, the little carriers. Yeah, that actually that that was re- that is the real ferry mm-hmm. um, that they use for all of the uh, shuttle when they needed when the shuttle landed somewhere else to take it back to Florida. And I think I saw from one of your shots, they have like on the fuselage of it, like a count mm-hmm. of all the all the missions it, it flew. They do, yeah. And like way more than I would have guessed. I mean, it was in the dozens, Ton. hundreds, oh, yeah. somewhere in there. Like uh, how many times it moved space shuttles around? Well, I'm looking right now. So Atlantis took 35 flights on it. Yeah. Uh, Discovery, 38. Challenger, 20. Endeavor, 12. Which I'm kind of surprised at because, I mean, early in the shuttle program, mm-hmm. they it would often land over on the West Coast yeah. you know, and, and Edwards. Uh, but it seemed like the last, you know, you know, last two thirds of its lifetime, it seemed like it always was able to land at, uh, in Florida. But. Well, they, they made a conscious decision to, 
to try to land in Florida right. unless it was absolutely yeah, it was cheaper. Yeah, mm-hmm. well, exactly. And right. so uh, I because I all, remember that because all the the processing facilities that literally the, the orbital processing yeah. facilities like three buildings in Kennedy Space Center that they would have to go to to be prepped for the next missions. So yeah. if they landed over and I, I know you know I'm talking to the people. Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. but um, <laughs> if they you know if they couldn't land because of weather or something in Florida, then they would they would land over in on the West Coast and then get on the top of this piggyback on top of this uh, this airplane you saw, yeah, and then fly it back to Florida, which yeah. uh, uh, as you imagine that's expensive. So. And it was cool for me to see it because yeah. the one model of the space shuttle I had growing up that I made, it was a kit with the with the plane. Oh, really? Um, yes. Okay. So that's it was cool. in this configuration. And so that's the one I always had. And I'm like, so to actually see it and go into the actual plane, that, yeah. that was kind of cool for me. Hmm. And so the, the shuttle was, was it um, – um a reproduction for like that place was it a training thing? What, yeah. uh, oh no what no no it? no! It was it's for Johnson. Oh, that's Just like, okay. yeah, it, it was it, it's, it's cheesy. Yeah, uh, because at Kennedy before they before they retired the space shuttle and they got Atlantis over there, they had mm-hmm. at least the one they had was a training. Uh, it was used in training. It wasn't just uh, yeah. just done, built for entertainment. But, no, oh. this one is yeah. Oh well, no, that's why Kennedy's where it's at. All right, it is. Okay, so uh, see so the mission control. This is, uh, yeah. and I texted you while you were there, and, uh, and I think I, I told you um, that I was never more jealous of you than I than I were <laughs> than I was while you were looking around. So yeah, that's pretty cool. How how were you? What it did your cool. kids think of uh, think of all this? They they really enjoyed it. Um, my son really really enjoyed it. Um, right. They okay. they enjoyed Kennedy, and so they they um, you know they we've watched um, Apollo thirteen. We've watched the new. Apollo 11 movie not that long ago when it came out on Blu-ray. Um, mm-hmm. We watched it together. So they're they're into it. They, they like it. They like the space and the, mm-hmm. you know, NASA and everything else. Uh, for a while, you know, my son wanted to be a, you know, a rocket scientist or, you know, mm-hmm. he wanted to work for NASA. And, and so, so he, yeah, they, they got a kick out of it. Oh, that's cool. Because yeah. cause to them, just to do the, the, the you know, the math, mm-hmm. this is as old to them. <laughs> As like when you and I were growing up, like uh-huh. before World War World War Two. Yeah, right. That's like the gap. That's like, yeah, I don't know. And so I wondered to like kids uh, today, can that can it still be exciting to them, or does it just seem like you know, yeah, whatever. No, so it, I obviously it it can. Um, maybe because they in their lifetime they really haven't seen, um, you know, yeah, it's true. Uh, man, go to space uh, yeah. from. The United States, you know, I mean, I know uh, we're sending guys true. up on the, uh, you know, through Russia and all, but not the excitement that we had for space shuttle launches. And, you know, do you know the shuttle program has been done almost 10 years now? I saw something. Yeah. What? 2011. Was yeah, it was, the last? it was, uh, the day my son was born was, uh, the, the anniversary of the Apollo landing. And I think the very next day, the last shuttle mission uh, uh, landed. No so, kidding! Wow. Yeah, so that's why that's I know insane. when the, when there was. So he just turned eight. So yeah, yeah. So eight years that uh, uh, that we haven't had a program to take uh, to take people in space. So it's crazy. Good, exciting things are happening though. Not just yeah. in NASA, but you know, with SpaceX and Blue Origin, and like we are on the cusp of. Uh, you know, some exciting stuff. We have Space Force coming up. <laughs> you know, so, you yeah, to, man. Did you have to mention that? I haven't heard much about Space Force. Are they recruiting? Because I, I, I don't know. Like, is that happening? Did why they you, get it off the ground yet? Why don't you, why don't you look into that? <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I, I want to get a shirt. Somebody I work with has a, has a shirt. Really? Yeah. I want to get awesome. one. Yeah. Anyway. Okay. So then, did you launch, But did you launch any rockets while you were there? Did no, you like no, any buttons? did not. No. Mm. By the way, so uh, while do, you were... Well, while you were talking and I wasn't listening, I was just checking on the uh, the Rocket Garden at yeah. Kennedy Space Center. Yeah. Uh, yeah, let me read uh, to you what it says there. Uh, blah, 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 the years. Uh, uh, when you tour amongst these giants, you're walking among incredible, authentic machines mm. that pioneered America's space exploration. Okay. Most of these rockets you'd say today see today are real. So mm. t- right. take that, Texas. All right, awesome. Anyway, that rocket garden. I saw some pictures uh, from the you know all the events they had for the fiftieth yeah. of that rocket garden at night, which I've never been there at night. It's always just been daytime. Mm-hmm. Uh, it's really cool, all lit up and stuff. Did you see? Wait, that? on at Kennedy? Yeah, Kennedy. Oh yeah, yeah. Well, uh, so <laughs> Kennedy had a they had a concert too, but they had it on the day of the launch. Yeah, because right, that's right. That was, that's well, all they had. But 
Duran Duran was there. Yeah, I know. I said it. I I know. That's all. I mean, they had they had Walk the Moon at uh, in Houston. <laughs> well, they didn't. Not in Houston. Houston's in Texas. It's it's not at the moon. No, I know the band's name is Walk the Moon. Oh, oh okay. Mm, they, <laughs> they did that on purpose. <laughs> okay. So anyway, um, no, I get it. yes, at, at Kennedy, those are real rockets. They are. Yeah, it's <laughs> it's way more. If you want to see, yeah. Anyway. So, but most importantly, how was a gift shop? Were, were cool so the gift there? shop, the gift shop was actually pretty big. Um, my, I was actually really disappointed at the. They had a lot of NASA stuff, mm-hmm. but they didn't have a lot of Johnson Space Center uh, stuff. See, it's just like Disney with their with their. You know, it's just you know. Yeah, Disney it's parks. not that. It's I mean, not, uh, eh, it's not that bad. I mean, Jesus, it's not. It's <laughs> um, but it's run by Hudson News. It's like not even run the, by wait, the, air, the airport people. Yeah, man. <laughs> That's crazy. Yeah. So you get some trail mix and like a NASA <laughs> know, sticker. Like, so okay. Um, so anyway, so I, I I had to look. You know, I, I got a few things that that say Johnson Space Center. Um, and so, um, but there really wasn't much. Like, hmm. no, they had like one hat, but I, I didn't like it. And no, oh, I saw that in your pictures. Yeah. Yeah. So oh. <laughs> I did no. <laughs> I took that picture just as a joke. Oh, uh, it was a goof. Oh uh, yeah. All right. But but anyway, so it was it was a big gift gift shop. I spent uh, way too much money. Um, so I, it's <laughs> not like they didn't have anything I wasn't. Gonna I was going to say those those things don't line up. <laughs> no, Chris, they they really didn't have anything. I blew four hundred dollars, but uh, it they was didn't have it anything. was north of two hundred. I'll tell you that. Seriously? Yeah, man. Wow. <laughs> How often do I get to a NASA <laughs> gift shop? That's it. every time you come to Florida, you could go. Well, yeah, that's a lot of that's a lot of astronaut ice cream. Uh, it is. I know. And and I mylar and mylar blankets. <laughs> You know that that shop at Kennedy Space Center. I hate to keep doing this comparison, but you know, yeah. but if anybody listens to this because they they like Disney and stuff, and you haven't gone out to Kennedy Space Center when oh, you're yeah. at Disney World, you gotta go. It's, you gotta go. And it used to be good, but yeah. ever since they built the Atlantis building, with, yes. which is the last uh, well, one of the space shuttles after after the program ended, uh, they built this. I don't remember what they spent billions of dollars on on this beautiful building and the attractions and stuff to go with the whole experience. So it is it is world class now. It used to be good. Uh, and then they yeah. built Saturn V Center, which was great. Yeah. And then they had the uh, space shuttle thing, which was amazing. So yeah, I do they that. did. But they had that little shop there. You and I have blown a lot of oh, money yeah. there before. Oh god, yeah. yeah. They have. You... Good. I was just gonna say when Kennedy built the Saturn V Center, like mm-hmm. that was like a huge step. Yeah. In, one giant. Would because, you say it was one giant yeah. leap? For... <laughs> no, I didn't. <laughs> but um, do you but... do you think he said? Did you ever notice when you were a kid, like it, yeah. and I, I should have, I should have like, I don't know, I had proof of this before, but my whole life I'm like, I was like, does anybody else understand that Neil's first words of one small step for man and one giant leap for mankind don't make sense? Like I, yeah. I did you notice that when you were a kid? Or yes, younger? I did. Absolutely. And I, I couldn't. And, and so I chalked it up to me being stupid. <laughs> and like I didn't fully understand the. Yeah, well, the that's how they talked you know, back then. It was the '60s. And, well, no, I know. just I'm like, oh, it, it must be greater than what I'm thinking, what yeah. I can comprehend. Never and all. made sense to me. And then I realized, then you know, it's like, oh, well, he, you know, everybody's like, oh, oh he didn't, you know, that doesn't. Yeah, because it was sense. like what so 10, like, oh. 10 years ago, and I, I don't yeah. know why he waited so long. Couldn't even like when he got back, like, hey, um, guys, like that's not what I said, yeah. but he waited anyway. It wasn't until like ten years ago. He's like, "No, I said one small step for a man." Right, which makes it so much more sense. More sense. Like it's like, oh well, yeah, that's perfect. So you know, I'm I'm sure you know with all excitement, it's easy to flub your lines, so to speak. But yeah. uh, but but no, I and so recently I did a lot of research on like did did he re- like is, do we have any yeah. proof that he actually said it? And apparently it's unprovable because. Um, because yeah. linguistically it's just like, you know, you can just kind of add on that, uh, and, and it just doesn't even register. Mm-hmm. Some, somebody took the audio and claimed they, they figured it out, but, uh, I'm yeah. just going to accept that, that that's what the, it should be. And they should just change everything so that it's, it's accurate. Yeah. And, and yeah, I, I read the same thing and I think even in a man on the moon, they, he has a, a, uh, you know, a note, a footnote that says that addresses it and says, yeah, there, it goes back and forth, but. So, you know, I think in his book, he says, yeah, he said, a, you know, like, yeah. And especially so that's, it, like that's somebody analyzed speech patterns from yeah. like where he's from uh, Ohio, I guess. Mm-hmm. Um, 
and uh, and like just the way they speak, you know, they, they just sort of like tack on that little, you know, like they would say just for a, for, you know, yeah. a real short syllable with it. So anyway, fascinating. But yeah, I'm going to accept it because it makes so much more sense. And like, you know, it does. It he's does. an astronaut. He's not going to screw up. Like he's going right. to get it right. Anyway. So, um, but yeah, Kennedy Space Center, when it um, opened the Saturn V Center, it was a huge, it was like, wow, that's, they did a really good job. And that's when they started changing the front part and everything. And then, so it was awesome. But then this Atlantis building and exhibit, it's like, it's, it, they, they've taken a great, it's like, man, you've knocked it out of the park with this one. Uh, mm-hmm. and we were together when we went and you had mm-hmm. gone through it before and I, mm-hmm. you know, and I hadn't, I had no idea. And you, thank goodness you didn't say anything to ruin <laughs> it, but it's just, uh, it's, uh, it's a phenomenal, it's, it's pretty powerful, the, yep. you know, and I, I don't want to ruin for anybody else, but, but it's definitely worth the, the price of admission to go to Kennedy yep. Space Center. You, everybody should go there and, and experience everything that they have it's it's pretty it's pretty phenomenal yeah. did you um um and i've never done this at kennedy but they they always have like have lunch with an astronaut because the, and they yeah. always find like these astronauts nobody's ever heard of yeah um i'm, I'm pretty sure they're actors but let's pretend they're not <laughs> and so did, you, did they have a, a thing like that yeah they had a meet the astronaut and you could actually i think uh reserve and pay to have lunch with an astronaut um the you astronaut that, the, like little tubes like astronauts do <laughs> Wait, what? Do you eat all the, when you have lunch with them? Does it, does well, it like yeah, the little astronaut food? With well, the why wouldn't it and be? Things? Well, it should be. That's all they eat, right? It's astronaut <laughs> it's even, food. Even once they're back. Right. <laughs> okay. um, so anyway, so there was a guy, a space shuttle guy there. Who was it? Let me see. Um, it won't matter. It won't it matter. Knows. Brian Duffy. Oh, yeah. Okay. So he was on one, two, three, four uh, um, space shuttle missions. I, I feel bad because I never... <sighs> I love the Apollo era, uh, uh, Apollo and pre-Apollo uh, mm-hmm. so much. That shuttle, I was like, eh, shuttle. Like, but now that's been gone. Now so long, it's I'm gone. Like, oh, I kind of miss the shuttle. Yeah. Mm, I didn't appreciate it when it was here. I know. Yeah, just like most most things. <laughs> All right. So does that does that wrap up uh, Johnson? So so yeah. I mean, should people like uh, hop, you know, get plane flights and go out there for, if that's what they're going to go see? Like, is yeah, it I mean, I would, I would, uh, yeah, oh, absolutely. I, I think mm-hmm. if you're going anywhere, yes, in Houston for whatever reason, um, absolutely go to Johnson. Mm-hmm. Uh, it, it might, I mean, depending on your level of interest in NASA, I mean, it that's the epicenter. Like, you know, it might be worth a, an actual trip there uh, to go and and see everything. And I would actually like to go back because I would like to go. Uh, we didn't have enough time, but I would like to go through. They take you through the current mission control. Um, so that's another tour you can do. Oh, wow. Well. Why didn't yeah. you do that? You're there. I didn't have time. I didn't. Because because we got messed up with me getting in the wrong line. Oh, thanks, uh, I'll take I'll take the blame. Thanks, Glenn. It's One not 100% simple decision. My fault. But uh, yeah, exactly. And uh, so we didn't we didn't have time to go. So I mean, there's still stuff we haven't seen. Um, mm. So okay. I would like to do that. Mm. All right. Well, but more importantly, so how was Astro World? Did you did you go on the coasters <laughs> so, there? We so just real quick. So that night we went um, to an Astros game, and Minute Maid Park is a beautiful park. I mean, yeah. it's it's it opened in 2000, so it's it's almost 20 years old. Yeah, um, these days they'll they'll rip it down now. It's like well, it's, well, it's all used up. No, now. this thing is gorgeous, man, yeah, and right. it has a retractable roof. It was closed during the game, um, and we saw a really great game. And um, it was closed for for heat or rain. Uh, heat. Oh, gotcha. Yeah, the, the AC pumping, man. <laughs> it gets <laughs> so, a little warm down there. It's Houston. Houston. I don't know if yeah. So. Um, so anyway, we saw home runs, and they have this train that uh, in the outfield. Yeah, that yeah goes I like the train. And all that good stuff. So, so that is was there really any, cool. is there any sorry is there any uh, yeah. backstory with that? Tra- I've never understood why the train is it just a just a thing or like or yeah okay. So well, we found out uh, the next day because we did uh, the next morning we did a tour of the stadium. Oh, cool! So the, we did that only so, one time at Yankee Stadium, but yeah. oh, okay. So yeah. we um, so it's built uh, on former rail yards. Um, oh, okay. so, and the main entrance 
uh, was the terminal or, mm, you know, okay. uh, railroad station, whatever they call it. <laughs> terminal? Well, I don't the, know. What is it? The train building. Yeah, the train station. Train <laughs> yeah, station. Terminal. There you go. Um, <laughs> the train station. Sure. So anyway, so on top of that, that's where the, where the train is. That That's where the station I was. See. Okay. That makes sense. Yeah. So um, and they and they and that thing uh, hoots and goes across when they when they get a home run. Yes, right? and we yeah, saw okay. uh, we saw four home runs by the Astros. Uh, three of them were back to back to back. So wow. the train went exciting. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Who, wait, who were they playing? The where Texas Rangers. Ooh, yeah, two, uh, all Texas two home teams. Fans. So and you're rooting for the Astros, I assume. I was, yeah. Okay, all right, good. As you should have been. Yeah. <laughs> So we did the tour. The tour was awesome. the The roof was open when we did the tour, so we got mm-hmm. to see it, you know, like for close, and then the next day open. Um, and they were, uh, you know, working on the field and getting it all pretty. And they took us in the visitors' um, dugout. Um, oh, visitors. That's kind of yeah, I know. But but that's where in the home, in the home team dugout. The yeah, but you know. Oh, the other teams. So yeah. you're like okay. Red Sox, Yankees. Yeah. There, that's their dugout, right? I got you. Yeah, so you actually get more variety from the, yeah, from the visitors' cool. dugout. You know, more other auras. Yeah. Okay. They took us into the press box. Mm-hmm. Uh, then they took us into uh, one of the suites. Uh, then they took us to the upper upper deck, um, and just gave us a bunch of facts and all the good stuff. So it was it was really cool. Got a cool. you know, some pictures and. Um, I'm and sure then we you enjoyed that. Drove home. Your family? Did, did they? Did they yeah, like, you know, oh, I, I asked. I asked the family. You know, what was their favorite thing when you know? Because honestly, this sounds like this sounds like Glenn's trip. This I, it does. You know, it doesn't sound like the family <laughs> trip. This sounds like Glenn. You get you know two or three days to do what you want. What do you yeah. want to do? So my son enjoyed Johnson the the most. Yeah, um, okay. And it, but my daughter, I it completely shocked me. She enjoyed the game the most. Really? Yeah. That's good. I'm like, what? And she's like, yeah. Well, you, but you guys go to, I mean, you go to like uh, home uh, minor league games. Uh, well, some of them lately, right? We haven't really since they're now the baby oh, cakes. But we are, <laughs> we are going uh, Friday. Um, oh, are you? Okay. It's it's Marvel night at Ooh. the uh, baby cakes game. So <laughs> baby cakes is that the name of your team? <laughs> yeah, baby cakes. Yeah, that doesn't even. What is that, uh, dude? So anyway. <laughs> So we're going, uh, and the first thousand hey, people uh, get a Hulk bobblehead. Wow! First thousand people—that's not well. It's minor league, I guess. So but. they'll give us like four each, because you know, because <laughs> like eight people go to the game. <laughs> I mean, we went for uh, Star Wars night a couple months ago. Oh yeah, and was there uh, like a hundred thousand people there? We got bats, and mm-hmm. yeah, it was like yeah, they. It, it was a Friday night with fireworks and everything, and yeah. it, it wasn't. It wasn't. That's crowded. a shame. I love I love minor league baseball. Though. Oh, I, do I, just, I love that that smaller feel to it. I mean, you know, yeah. it's one thing to see you know, Red Sox or Yankees or whatever, but you know, smaller smaller because that's kind of how baseball you know mm-hmm. started, right? So I don't know. I like it. They've just baby. made some poor decisions. And baby so. cakes, though, brother. They're baby they're cakes. leaving after. I think after next year. Uh, originally it was going to be this year, but uh, next year I think they're they're going to have one more s- season here. Then they're moving to Wichita, Kansas. What? Yeah. Okay. Because that's, you know. Because they're going to build think... them a new stadium. In Wichita, Kansas. Yep. Well, who are they a feeder team for? <laughs> the Miami Marlins. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> no, that's, that's the thing. They, they You know, it's like, uh, okay, they, we came and get behind, like, the major yeah. league team and... Yeah. You know, it's a it's a joke. So anyway, whatever. well, we have this beautiful. We've talked about it before. We have this oh beautiful God. cracker cracker jack stadium or whatever it's called now. Yeah. And uh, but oh, that's what I'll call it. Yeah, but there's no team, right? No, except for do the well, even the Braves. No, left, this right? was the Braves last season. Oh, was, yeah. was this year? So that that beautiful little stadium just yeah, away. it's gonna go. Yeah, I don't know how they don't have. I used to go to uh, the Orlando Rays games when yeah. when they had it there. I, I it missed those. Awesome. I think they left like a year after I moved here or something. So I didn't I, I didn't get a chance to really. It was that, awesome but. because nobody nobody went and you would go. You could sit like uh, it was yeah. it was awesome. Yeah. Oh well. Anyway, yeah, and we used to have a uh, Astros uh, spring training down in Kissimmee. Yeah. I think that I think that left too, right? It did. Oh, what a shame. Where are they all going? Where are they Kansas? Well, they're, going no, Kansas? they're trying to cluster uh, on the coast. Yeah, so because, less, less training yeah. or less traveling, I mean. Yeah. Yeah, yeah so all like uh, 
uh, Sarasota side, right? On the Gulf Coast? Is that, did they go I that way? I think it's both coasts. But, yeah, I think the Astros went to the west. I think they went southwest. Uh, yeah. yeah. Um, like Bradenton, Sarasota. Yeah. Some, yeah. Well, yeah, I think even further south than that. But yeah. Oh, really? I think. Great. I think. I don't know. Thanks, so anyway, baseball. so yeah, right. so that was our trip. That was cool. it. Five hour drive. That's not too bad. No. Was, so did you uh, see so were there? What like Friday, Saturday, and then came back Sunday? That kind of one thing? full oh, day sure. on Friday. Uh, so yeah, we 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 did the tour in the morning on mm-hmm. Saturday morning, mm-hmm. uh, and we were done by like eleven, and then we just drove home. Okay. Cool. Yeah. Did you stop at a, a Fuddruckers or Schlossky's or something? No, uh, Whataburger. Oh uh, yeah, yeah. Nice. What's the you would know? What's the closest one of those around here? Where can I go? Uh, how far, how far in, in the, the north panhandle? do I have to go? Yeah, I mean, I it's say. yeah, Tallahassee. Nah, they different. have one in Tallahassee. Nah, that's not I know, like every single one in Florida, because <laughs> <laughs> we stop <laughs> at the there's yeah Tallahassee, uh, Shake uh, Crestview. Oh, I think it is. You know, there's there's a few of them. Am I getting any Shake Shacks? I want to go to Shake Shack. I don't know. Shake Shack. Are those franchises? Should we open one? I don't. Well, think they're franchises. I think. Uh, I mean, I don't want anything to uh, to interfere with, uh, you know, this job. But uh, hey, looks like we we have some. Wait a minute. There's one at the Mall at Millennia, Glenn. <laughs> Is it really? Yeah. What's your problem? I haven't been there in like a year or more. Right. I never go out anymore. I don't leave the house. It's too dangerous out there. <laughs> stay stay inside. That's, that's good. Don't give me that sound. Don't. That's good. Yeah. Yeah, Mall, Mall at Millennia. Who knew? Who knew? Yeah. <laughs> I should really get out once in a while. <laughs> well, it looks good. There's a picture of one. I don't know what makes those special. I guess they're just, I don't know, just pretty good burgers. Yeah. They're, you ever feel guilty about eating meat? Did we have, have we had this conversation before? Okay, so I'll tell you a story that I haven't right. told you. Because we had a new restaurant open up here, and it, it looks interesting, but it's making me it's making me think. Okay. So go ahead. Do they slaughter the cows right there in front of you? Like <laughs> no, 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 the opposite. No, it's called it's called humble H U M B L. Okay, and it's all you know plant based. Oh, okay, uh, a menu, whatever. So it's completely vegan. Okay. Anyway, so let me tell my story real quick. Right. Um, so we were in Cleveland a couple of weeks ago, and we went out to dinner, and uh, for, this is for work, and so we went to this. Uh, it was like a microbrewery or something. And so it's, you know, burgers and that type of food. And and so I saw on the menu that they had the Impossible Burger. And oh, yeah, we talked about that. Yeah, and so I said, oh, I'm going to get that. And so okay. um, everybody thought it was weird. And I'm like, I don't care. I want to try it. Like, you know. Um, yeah. So <laughs> so I order, and, and the guy's like, oh, well, we don't. Uh, I'm sorry, we don't have the Impossible Burger because Burger King has bought them all up. Yeah. Um, so we have the Beyond Burger. And I said, okay, that's fine. You know, I won't know any difference. I, I won't. Uh, yeah. yeah. So uh, it's a Beyond Burger on, with vegan uh, cheese and, you know, lettuce, tomato on a bun, right? Okay. Um, and so it came out. <laughs> and Chris, uh, if you put that in front of me and didn't tell me it wasn't a Are you real hamburger, I never would have known it. And 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 I'm not even it, being funny now. You're, I mean, you're something of a foodie. I mean, that's that's a that's yeah. not a that's not a small statement for you. To Especially make. hamburgers, like that's my yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah, that's all, my all your, you all your meats. You're, yeah, you're, I mean, you're generally a meats guy. I am, I am, and and that's why I wanted to try because I've heard so much about them. Wow, and Chris, the texture, the flavor, everything, it tasted like a normal Shut hamburger. Up. I ate the entire thing. Quick, <laughs> like, you got and it one? made me start thinking. I'm like, well, maybe I should, you know, when I can switch over to. I'm looking at, I'm looking at photos. It looks pretty legit. It yeah, like, it, like even, the, even the look of it, stuff. the smell, like everything. Nothing would have tipped you off that it wasn't a yeah. uh, real hamburger. We're gonna find out it's not actually plants; it's made out of people. That's what <laughs> right, we're gonna find exactly. <laughs> oh, it's uh, like green. <laughs> yeah, I mean. <laughs> Yeah, exactly. It, that's exactly what the surprise is going to be. These oh. photos are pretty. They're pretty. Um, it's uh, it's actually. I think it's from the senses. <laughs> they think smaller and more legs. <laughs> <laughs> that's right. That was the, the rib witch. Yeah. <laughs> What's it? The rib witch pork. What uh, rib is it? <laughs> the, uh, crusty. Uh, think smaller and more legs. <laughs> that's right. That was hilarious. <laughs> Well, that's good. So you didn't, uh, I thought you were going to say, so I got it. And I was like regretting it. No, I was shocked. I was shocked. 
how are they doing this? Are, are they, is this like some, <laughs> I don't want to know. It's a plant, but it's alien plants that are actually made <laughs> right. out of meat or something. Like well, that. I mean, so I, I've heard that because, you know, like they can't, I, I guess they can't grow the plants fast enough or yeah. I don't know. But <laughs> yeah, they tend to like do their own thing. But no, I, I've heard that as well. It's like a, like a shortage of them. So. Yeah. And so yeah. Burger King buying up all the, cause I've heard that they're going to have roll it out. Maybe it's this weekend nationwide. Oh, okay. But it seems like some some sort of technology or something has happened that made this happen yeah. all of a sudden. Like yeah. I, don't, I don't know enough about it, but huh? But they ought to go out to uh, the land because uh, they have this thing there about like hydroponic uh, growing stuff. So they they should right. look into that. One of these they, days I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna set up my right. own hydroponic garden, grow my meat, <clears throat> gonna grow some hamburgers. You right over there. Oh. Why Burger King's new Impossible Whopper isn't totally vegetarian? Oh, because they're well, going to say the cheese isn't. Well, but that's, well, I, I'm okay with that. I mean, I don't know. Yeah. Whatever. I, I, I couldn't be vegan. I could be vegetarian. I could be like, all right, I'm not going to yeah. eat meat. I'd still, like fish, like I still, I love sushi and I can't, I can't give up sushi. But like, you know, I don't know, killing the poor animals. But, you know, if we're going to keep a chicken in a cage to give me some eggs, I think I'm all right with that. You know what I mean? Is that yeah. a silly, silly line? Maybe. but No, it's. Wait, cheese? Where's the cheese come from? The cheese animal? Where's that? Oh, the the cow. cow the but you're yeah. letting the cow live, so. Yeah, I mean, it's, you know, it's like okay, whatever. Hmm. Oh. I gotta check. Where can I get one of these? I got to go to Burger King. What am I gonna do? Oh, okay. Since vegans traditionally avoid eggs, the Impossible Whopper was quickly dismissed as a vegan fast food alternative since the burgers topped with mayonnaise. Oh please, come on. <laughs> So make some vegan mayonnaise. Say get it without mayo, and then right. put on whatever you vegans put put on things. Right. All right. I shouldn't dismiss it. I mean, everybody's got that. But I don't know. It seems like such a. I don't know. It seems like that would be a tough. Well, I give them credit, vegans, because I mean, you got like no leather in your in your shoes and such, and. You know? Yeah. See, I feel I've lost you right now. You're you're just sucked into the vortex of googling. <laughs> no, I I see this in the story. They have a um. They have a tweet embedded uh, about this impossible restaurant in in New York, and I I passed it when I was there la- last week or the week before, and I didn't know what it was, and so and but they had camera crews outside and everything else, and so anyway, so and I don't know. is that related to what we're talking about, or is it just a random? well, it was yeah, oh, okay. Huh. So they were making. Are there any vegan? I mean, you you're uh, in your part of the world. Are there any uh, like vegetarian <laughs> vegan places? Um, yeah, oh yeah, there is. There's like City Greens. Do you have City Greens there? Mm, I don't know. I, I, did, I didn't even know I had a Shake Shack, so. Oh, yeah, that's true. Um, yes, there are, there are a few vegan places, yes. Hmm. So this is, uh, this is the place that just opened near me. I want to go try. Called Humble. H-U-M-B-L. No E. But it looks interesting. All right, now I now I really want to try it. If I got because I yeah. I thought for sure I would have put a thousand dollar bill. I, I don't know if there are a thousand dollar bills, but I would have smacked it down on the table, mm-hmm. and I said he would hate uh, whatever. But oh no, so that's, I've been wanting to try it. I've I've seen so I'm much really, about it. I'm shocked. I'm truly shocked. Well, that's cool. Yeah, yeah. All right. Well, good trip report, Glenn. For a change. For a change. Where, where are you going to go to next? If you didn't go to Houston, like, and oh. you're going to do like a small trip, was there a, was there a second? Uh, it's kind of like the Olympics when they pick the cities and they they uh, <laughs> you know select one. But uh, was there a second choice? Um, we were thinking uh, just somewhere along the coast, uh, like um, Panama uh, City. Uh, yeah, exactly. Like uh, yeah. Gulf Shores, Alabama, or mm-hmm. um, you know Pensacola, or somewhere. Yeah. yeah, okay. Just not that far away. Hmm. All right, gotcha. Well, that's cool. You went to Houston. Yeah. Nice. No, yeah, we've no been, that, like I said, we've been wanting to go there for a few years, so it's like, all right, we pulled the trigger and went. That's a pretty cool thing, you know, and I never thought about this before I had kids, but like, like uh, you know, they're starting up school mm-hmm. here next week, mm-hmm. and I'm, it just occurred to me last night, or tonight, I'm, I'm, I'm talking to the family, I'm like, oh, oh no, and they're like, well, what's the matter, dad? And I'm like, when they ask you what you did on summer break, you got nothing to tell them, because like, <laughs> we just hung around this year, we didn't really go anywhere, but at least your kids have something cool to to say true god you're doing this father thing so much better than i am <laughs> please hmm. all right well, good yeah. all right now that you got that out of your system it's time for you to get back to disney world and <laughs> do this right well we have a cruise 
We'll be taking. I'll be taking still, a cruise still in think February, like, so that'll locked? be our Disney fix for next year. Are you locked in on that? You you still? Uh, um, I mean, still still planning to go? Still planning to go? Yeah. I feel like you and I are going to play chicken over this over this cruise. Oh, I'm. There's no. I'm. I, my foot's to the floor, and I'm. <laughs> you, <laughs> Is that right? You're the one that's going to swerve. <laughs> <laughs> Well, that's what I'm asking you. So it's a it's a, like a, a ten out of ten that you're gonna you're gonna go. <laughs> it's eleven out of ten. I mean, there's oh, wow. no. Yeah. Oh, we talked about it before. And I didn't think it was that. Uh, oh, it yeah. was a, like, well, we'll book it, and you know. Oh no, no, absolutely. We got it. Oh, the wow. kids are, okay. well, yeah, they cannot right. wait. I told my family. They're like, okay, cool. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that's you who you're playing about? chicken with is <laughs> your family, <laughs> no, not no. mine. No, no. The only challenge we have is that the uh, the little one is, you know, he's that's still, funny. huh? What he's three? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, okay. I don't want to get into it, but I'm, but I'm just saying he'll he's be not almost the, four. He's not kids club age. Okay. Actually, yeah, he'll he'll well, yeah. well holy cow, is uh, already coming that close? Yeah. Well, he'll be February to May. Right? Well, yeah. Okay. Yeah. But uh, yeah, we got some a few challenges with him. Do, but, do uh, y'all have pre K three? Pre K three? Yeah. No, I mean you got to pay for that. You could. Well, sure. Like we almost did it, well. but we we <laughs> didn't. What? You have to pay for every grade here. <laughs> well, that's different. No, but I mean, we have we have pre K four. That's pre K four. State okay. state pay for. Okay. Why do you ask? Just curious, because yeah. uh, our kids went to pre K three. Oh, okay. Yeah, we almost did that with the little guy, but eh, he's not ready. So, eh. cool. All right. Well, hey, this was a different episode. Yeah. Yeah. We'll get uh, back to uh, uh, probably by the time we. Do our next one, uh, Galaxy's Edge and Disney World will be close to opening. So I'll I'll be looking forward to our uh, your trip report I'm, there. I'm gonna get. I already got my fedora, and I have a little piece of paper. I wrote press on it. I'm nice. Stick it, I'm gonna stick it in the little band, right? Awesome. And my big giant view camera. And I'm all like, ladies and gentlemen, here we are at the opening of Galaxy's Edge. Awesome. Can't wait, man. I'm gonna send in some. Uh, Take the Skyliner there. I'm gonna I'm gonna run to a uh, I'm gonna run to a phone booth and and file my report. As you said that, I'm thinking of um, uh, the movie Airplane. And <laughs> yeah, when they <laughs> all go. Oh, that movie's so good. Tips over. I don't know if that movie holds up today, but yeah, it's so it good. It does for me, man. That's well, awesome. Well, of course it does for you. But it, <laughs> I'm a simple man. So Skyliner, uh, even my wife knows how uh, like I'm looking forward to the Skyliner thing. She's yeah. like, she she saw some news article about it. She's like, hey, do you know the Skyliner starts on whatever <laughs> day she said? I'm like, I know. I can't wait. I'm so excited. I'm really not. I just, she clearly does not listen to this. <laughs> no, she she listened like to the <laughs> second one, and that was it. She's like, I have things to do. <laughs> right. I got your children to raise and right. such. And, exactly. You know, sleep to catch up on. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I'm still excited about it. I don't know. Galaxy's Edge. Yeah. I, I think I remember before I talked about doing a staycation. Mm-hmm. Uh, I don't think it's going to happen. Hmm. Why? Just, why is that? Because my money tree is a little bit back to a little shrub. <laughs> it's a little shrub. What a shock! Yeah, I really wanted to. I wanted to stay at the Poly yeah. though, which was a big yeah. change for me because I, uh, I was that never is a, a big fan. change for you. Yeah, there's two. Did I t- did I ever tell you why? There's two reasons. So, one is, and I don't know if you know this. At least with me, like stuff that I used to not like. Like if my kids like it, now I like mm-hmm. it. Like sure. the stupid tiki room. I saw there was some on some website they showed like I guess the they're starting to come out with ornaments for Christmas, right? <clears throat> yeah. And so there's some new tiki room uh, ornament thing that, you know, two years ago I would have mocked mercilessly. Mm-hmm. Uh, now because my son likes tiki room, I'm like, oh that's cool. We should get that for the tree. <laughs> and like so now I'm all I'm all converted on the tiki room. And it's kinda like that for the Polynesian because and we just went uh for his birthday, um, we go to the uh, to the Ohana's. Mm-hmm. You, you heard of that place? I have. Uh, not a place for vegans, uh, but we went there no. and um, yeah, for his birthday. So, uh, so it's that. And but you know, it actually makes me. Um, I went to Hawaii when I was a, a little kid, like five mm-hmm. or six, mm-hmm. and just like um, uh, you know, the vibe kind of makes me think of that. It's kind of cool. Cool. Anyway, but it's expensive. I don't know if you know that. So it takes a lot of money to stay there. I have heard that, yes. So I'll be looking for a raise, boss. Okay. All right. You get. I'll give you 100% of all profits that we make. Oh, I did have a question for you. Yeah, about what's the, that? About the, about the, what are you laughing about? <laughs> about, the, about the poly. And I know, oh, God, this is going to trigger you. But oh, the, um, you know, the, uh, 
the lobby. Remember, there used to be like a big waterfall thing there. Remember that? All right. This was a fun episode. We'll talk to you <laughs> no, next but I, time. But I have a question for you. Yes. Uh, I don't even know why I'm bothering. Uh, people can write in. So they have, uh, and I was uh, taking some pictures, uh-huh. and uh, they they have like a like a like a character, like a yeah. like a like a, a figurine, a person looking thing at the top of the thing in the lobby now. Mm-hmm. Do you know? It almost looked like there would be some story to that. Like it would be some, I don't know, that there would be some backstory with that. You know anything about that? No. Like I mean, he's boring. he's the guy that they has been on all the, uh, you know, uh, the logos and everything since day one. But is, is I right? don't know that there's a story or anything. He's on the logos. I have to, I have to yeah. find some art now. It's not. Yeah. It's not, okay. Huh. So he's just like the mascot, the, yeah. of the Polynesian. He was, he was in the um, in in the rooms. He was in the like on the lamps and stuff. Oh, really? I have pictures. Yeah, yeah. I have I pictures from 2007, I think, hmm. when we stayed there last. Um, okay. Yeah, he, he's all over the place. But I, I honestly, no, I don't know of any story, so I don't. I think hmm. it's just. All right, I'm gonna do some research. I'll report back at the next show. Yeah, I mean, I mean, if you can bring back the huge garden, and you, the you're gonna hate me, but I actually, I think it's better. Yeah, but uh, all right. It's better. It's, it's not more better open. Now. It There's is, more light. It's absolutely not better. It was all overgrown and crowded no. in there before. Okay. So much better now. Not it's even. much more relaxed. That's not even. Uh, how is it more relaxing when you... Okay. I'm not even... When what? Da, da, da. <laughs> what? <laughs> I'm in my happy place. Mm-hmm. What? No, it is. You, you know, you got to... Things change, Glenn. The world, the world changes. Okay. Mm-hmm. Changes. Awesome. Change is permanent. <laughs> I'm gonna go find out there what the story is with that guy. <laughs> All right, hey, this is fun. It was, yeah. Okay, and you know what's killing me now? Talk what? so what? much. What's going on now? Nice for a change for me. And and our and our audience. Hmm. All right, listen, it's late. It's like it seven is. in the morning, five no, in the morning, four no. in the morning here or something. It's really late. I gotta go to bed. All right. All right. Talk to you next time. Yep. Thank you for joining us on another episode of Starport 75. Follow Chris on Twitter and Instagram at CB Gray and Glenn on Twitter and Instagram at Dizwiz. Follow the show on Twitter and Facebook at Starport 75 and Instagram at the Starport 75. For all things related to the show, including show notes and links to connect with us, visit us at starport75.com. This episode is sponsored by Park Leap. Do you hate waiting in lines for your favorite rides at Disney World, Universal, and Disneyland? Of course you do. Everyone does. Park Leap tracks current wait times for attractions in real time, analyzes them, and gives you immediate guidance on what to ride now and what to skip for a shorter wait later on. Park Leap saves you time so you can do more, see more, and ride more. Many theme parks provide their own apps, which is great, but they only report the times. You only get information, you don't get guidance. Is that 40 minute wait good or bad? Parkleap can tell you. Parkleap also includes an interface that is clean, quick, and easy to use. Many vacationers travel to multiple theme parks, now one app does it all. Whether you're a local resident and annual pass holder, or travel great lengths once a year or every few years, you want to make the most of your time and money. This is the app to get to help you do that. Get Park Leap in the Apple App Store. And thank you to Park Leap for sponsoring Starport 75.